What's up guys, it's MB Boxing and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Jose Pedraza versus Richard Comey and this is going to be a 10 rounder in the super lightweight division and this fight is going to be Saturday August 27th from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma and this fight is going to be broadcasted on ESPN, ESPN Plus or in the ESPN app and to get both fighters resumes, Jose Pedraza fighting out of Puerto Rico Holds a record of 29 wins with 4 defeats and 14 wins coming by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 17 by BoxRec in the Super Lightweight Division. Um, he's also the former IBF Super Featherweight World Champion and the former WBO Lightweight World Champion. And to first of all, list all four of his defeats before I talk about his wins. He has a knockout loss to Gervonta Davis, a unanimous decision defeat to Vasil Lomachenko, a unanimous decision defeat to Jose Zapata, and he's coming off a very close and controversial unanimous decision loss to Jose Carlos Ramirez, and that was a fight that I thought uh, could have went either way, in my opinion. So, I mean, as you just heard, I mean, he's really only lost to some of the best in um, the weight classes that he was fighting in. Gervonta Davis, one of the best at super featherweight, featherweight at the time. Vasil Lomachenko, also one of the best around that weight class as well. Um, he lost as a paid at 140, one of the best at 140, and he lost to Ramirez, who's also one of the best at 140. So he's really only lost to top 10, even top 5 opposition in the weight classes he was fighting in. But to list some of his best victories, he was able to knock out Tevin Farmer earlier on in his career, and Farmer went on to become a um, world champion. He also has a unanimous decision win over Michael Arenas, a unanimous decision win over Andre Klimov, a split decision win over Edner Cherry, a unanimous decision victory over Stephen Smith, a unanimous decision victory over Antonio Moran, a unanimous decision victory over Raimundo Beltran, a knockout win over Antonio Lozada, a unanimous decision victory over Mikel Lepierre, a unanimous decision win over Javier Molina, and um, his most recent victory was a very nice knockout win over um, Julian Rodriguez. And Rodriguez was an undefeated fighter going into their fight. I believe he was 21-0. and um, And that was a very, very solid win for Pedraza. But to get into his opponent's resume, Richard Comey fighting out of Ghana. Holds a record of 30 wins with 4 defeats and 27 big wins by way of knockout. He's currently ranked number 21 by BoxRec. And this is in the lightweight division. I think he, he's definitely a top 15 rated fighter at lightweight if you're going to talk about his stats at lightweight. But he's a former IBF lightweight world champion. And to list all four of his defeats, he lost by split decision to Robert Easter Jr. He lost by split decision to Dennis Shafikov. He lost by brutal knockout to Teofimo Lopez. And he also has a unanimous decision loss in his most recent fight against Vasil Lomachenko. So, I mean, as you just heard, Comey also has lost to some very solid opposition as well. But to list some of his best victories, he has a unanimous decision win in England over Gary Buckland, a knockout victory over Bahodir Mamajanov. He also has a unanimous decision victory over Hedy Slomani. He also has a knockout win over Alejandro Luna. He has a knockout victory over Issa Chaniev, and that was for the IBF world title. He also has a stoppage win over Raimundo Beltran. And his most recent victory was a very solid six-round knockout win over Jackson Mariñez. So in my opinion, this fight is actually a very, very solid, very, very good fight. I think it's a very tough fight to predict. But I'm definitely edging in favor of the former two-weight world champion, Jose Pedraza. I mean, this is like the ultimate crossroads fight. Both these guys are coming off losses to very good opposition, and now they're facing each other. As I mean, as you heard, most most of these guys um, that they have faced are top level opposition. So they're used to facing top guys, and now they're fighting each other. And they're both very solid fighters. In my opinion, they're both at least top fifteen in their weight class. I don't know why Boxer has them rated so. Lowly because I mean Pedraza has had such good fights and close fights with some of the best in the world, and yet Boxrec has him ranked below so many other guys that he could easily be because I thought that he beat Ramirez and Ramirez unless I had it a draw I can't really remember I I either had it close for Pedraza or a draw but I think I could have went either way but I thought that I mean he definitely could have won that fight or I thought he won that fight and I mean. They got him ranked number 17. I do have a problem with that. I think they, they should definitely get the respect they deserve. And I think that based on their wins and resume, they should be ranked much higher. 
But really, when it comes to this fight, I think it's just such a good fight um, between these two guys. Uh, as I mentioned before, very good crossroads fight. Two very, very good former world champions. Um, and like I said before, I'm definitely edging in favor of Pedraza, and I'll list some reasons why. I think that Pedraza, his boxing is just a bit more superior. I just think that at this weight class, he's much more established because because he's fought some of the best in the world, and he's actually had very, very good outcomes. Even though he might have lost to um, some of the best guys at 140, he still had very, very tight fights with them. And I know you might say, oh, but he had close fights, he didn't win. I mean, he still showed that he could hang with some of these best guys in the world. But Comey, I mean... He's coming off a dominant loss to Vasily Lomachenko. And in this fight, it's his first fight at 140, so he hopes to put on a good performance. And I think that the only way that Comey could win this fight is by knockout. And I know that I said this is a very close or a very tough fight to predict, but I just think that Pedraza, I mean, just when it comes to his boxing and his IQ in the ring, I just think that it's much higher than Comey's, but Comey has that knockout power. Pedraza has been stopped before, so I mean, I just think that Comey... He's got that knockout power, and if he lands on Pedraza clean and multiple times, maybe he could get him out of there. And I've seen, I've been seeing a lot of people picking Comey to win this fight by knockout, but I think Pedraza is just too skilled, um, and it's just a very good, um, very very solid fighter on the outside. I mean, I'm I love watching him fight because he's just so technical. He's just very very good, very very, uh, I guess you could say sharp in the ring, very accurate, um, and he's a very very good. Fighter. I mean, they call him Sniper for a reason. I mean, his left hands are very accurate like a sniper. I mean, he just shoots them out there, lands on his opponents, and he gets them out of there. So, how I see this fight going down round by round, um, I think that Jose Pedraza will have a very solid first half in this fight. In this fight, I thought it was supposed to be 12 rounds, but it's only 10, which I think will actually favor Pedraza, because I think that Comey actually does better more later on in his fights. Um, Comey is a very solid gas tank, in my opinion. I think he's very good as the fight goes on. But I think that Pedraza sort of cuts down on his offense more as the fight goes down as well. So I don't... I mean, I don't really think necessarily that uh, if this was 12 rounds that Comey would win necessarily, but I still think that Comey might edge some more rounds if it was. But nonetheless, uh, I still think that in the first half of this fight, Pedraza will, like I said, use that left hand of his... Um, shoot it out there, uh, keep the distance with his jab. I think he will be boxing very well, very strong. And I think that Comey will be the one coming forward throughout this entire fight, really. I think there will be some moments where Pedraza comes forward a bit and lands some combinations of his own. But primarily, I think for Pedraza, it will be fought on the outside with his jab, sticking out his big um, big southpaw uh, right hand with the jab, followed by those left hands. I mean, he's primarily a one-two fighter, um, and I think that is 100% okay. I mean, he does what he has to do, gets his opponents out of there, sometimes follows up with some more combinations. I mean, he's a very solid fighter, and I think that's what we're going to be seeing in the first half of this fight. So I think that, like I said, I think that Pedraza will be the one boxing at mid-range or on the outside, landing counter punches on Comey. I think that Comey will be coming forward, and I mean, I've said this in many of my other videos, there's judges who prefer the aggression of some fighters, there's fighters who prefer the boxing, and there's some that are more neutral, and I think we're going to see that a lot in this fight. I think that we're going to see um, really a variation of scores in this fight, as I think the first half of this fight will be pretty clear in favor of Jose Pedraza. Like I said, after five rounds, uh, I think that Pedraza should be up pretty clearly. Like I think he could be up 49-46 after five, which is four rounds to one. And I think that in the first three rounds, um, like any one of those first three rounds, I think um, Comey might edge. Because usually in some of these fights, you see a fighter just that's necessarily known for having good second half like momentum. I think that usually both of these fighters in the first three rounds are going to be just getting into a rhythm, figuring out where they could land. And I think that Comey might just outwork uh, Pedraza a little bit in those first three rounds, and he could edge one of them. But I think the rest of them... Pedraza will just be the m much better technician in there. He'll be a sharpshooter, landing the better shots, um, and just dictating the pace in those rounds. But then, I think in the second half of the fight, I think Comey will start to pick up his offense, although I think Pedraza will still be fighting at a similar pace in the first half. I just think that Comey will start to be more aggressive, start to stick his shoulder out there, 
um, go to the body, to the head. I mean, he's primarily a headhunter, and he has very, very good power. 27 knockouts and 30 wins. That's just very, very good in his case. But I think that he will be coming forward a lot in this fight, and I think he will improve the volume of his punches in the second half. And I could see um, Comey landing a lot of shots on Pedraza in that second half. But I still think the round that the rounds in the second half will be very close. But I think they will be more edged in favor of Comey. Like I do not think that the second half of the fight will be like where Comey just dominates. I think he the fight round. I think the rounds will be tight. But I think that he will be edging them. So I that's why I think that these scorecards could be much like all over the place because uh, I think these rounds will be very hard fought in the second half. But in the first half, I think it will be clear set for. Pedraza to win them with his boxing and accuracy. But the second half, I think that Comey will start to pick up the offense and come forward. Like anywhere from around six rounds ten, I think Comey will start to pick up the offense. But it could be really, really tight those rounds. But I think there will be a couple of rounds in there that Comey wins fairly clearly, um, and definitely gets on the judges' scorecards. Um, as I think that this fight will go for the full ten rounds, and I think that with um, Pedraza's, like, boxing in the first half, I think it will get him the victory in this fight, and I think that he will box in the first half, uh, or he'll, he will be much more accurate, he'll be the one landing the bigger and better shots in the first half, and I think that's what will get him the victory in this fight, as I said, as I think the second half of the fight will be much closer, much more competitive, but I think that Pedraza's first half work, which I think will happen, will get him the victory, um, by points, and like I said before, I think the second half could have very, very tight rounds, um, and I think that a lot of them could go either way. But I think that, as I mentioned before, the judges could have varied scorecards. So comment down below your thoughts on this fight and who you think is going to win. I mean, if you think it's going the distance, comment down below what scorecards you think will that there will be. Or comment down below if you think it's going to be a stoppage, who, like who do you think will win and what round the stoppage will happen. As I think this fight will go the distance, and I think that... Jose Pedraza will end up getting a majority decision victory. I think that one judge will have this battle 95 to 95. I think the other two judges um, will have it one more in favor of like a sort of more neutral ground, like giving some of those tight rounds to Pedraza, giving some of them to Comey and whatnot. And I think one judge will have it 96 to 94, and the last judge will have it 97 to 93, more in favor of Pedraza's work with his accuracy, his jab, his straight. I think they'll that judge will more favor um, Pedraza's work um, with his boxing and counter punching. So I mean, I think that Pedraza will get this victory, and I mean, if he does, this is a massive win for him. Definitely one of the best of his career, um, and I think that it could lead to big things. As this super lightweight division is super super open right now, with Josh Taylor being stripped of multiple titles, we just had the WBA title fought for last weekend between Puello. And Dak Madoff, Puello was now the WBA champ. Um, the WBC title is being fought for as well. Um, the WBO title, I think, is the only title that Josh Taylor has right now. I'm pretty sure the IBF did strip him, unless they did not. But, I mean, really, the division's open nonetheless, even if he still has that title. But I'm pretty sure the IBF did just strip him. But, um... I mean, comment down below if I'm correct or not on that, because, I mean, really, it's just all this news about the Super Lightweight division, um, Josh Taylor being stripped, whatnot, have been just coming out of nowhere, like wildfire. I mean, they've just been shooting out, oh, he's stripped of this title, that title, whatever. I mean, yeah, the Super Lightweight division is just super open. Uh, so overall, I believe that Jose Pedraza will get a very solid majority decision victory over Richard Comey, and I think that the judges will score this bout 95 to 95 a draw, 96 to 94, and 97 to 93, both in favor of Comey, I mean, both in favor of Pedraza to win this fight uh, by majority decision victory. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm MB Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.